What's up guys, this is that PlayStation Gamer. Today I'm going to quickly talk about the Game of the Year Awards. Games that kind of stuck out to me, and yeah, I guess I might be rubbing in just a little that Nintendo didn't win Game of the Year. In a year they clearly could have, because, you know, they're freaking Nintendo, and they get a pass on everything these days, but thank freaking God, the Independent Studio won. You know what, that's the first thing I guess I'll actually talk about, is it takes two. It takes to beat out Nintendo in Best Family Game, which Nintendo had three nominees, and I'm really happy about that, because, like, it shows that, finally, gaming journalists might not just be giant Nintendo shills that just basically, you know, hand out awards to them because they showed up. I also noticed Nintendo really didn't have any big announcements at this show, because, again, Nintendo doesn't play with the rest of the industry. Nintendo just does whatever the hell they want and just pretends otherwise um as far as game of the year goes i actually had a video already say i think ratchet clank rift did a partial of one but now looking back on things in hindsight you know it takes two actually deserve to win just because the story it's telling is so it, it's it's definitely different than what you see in most of the game industry most of the game industry does like to repeat certain stories let's be real here this was definitely something different. It was definitely a more of a unique concept than what we saw in most of the rest of the Game of the Year nominees. Much as I love Fracture Clank, much as I thought Metroid Dread was a good game, I also feel like a lot of those games kind of coastered on their previous installments. But let's talk about some of these games. So, first game obviously stuck out to me was Horizon Forbidden West 2. <laughs> Um, you know, it's so funny, I talked about how, you know, these two games are super original. It takes you a super original, and I'll go back to an open world game, but it definitely looks good. Like, I actually feel safe, you know, basically pre-ordering the game at this point, because it also looks like that date's just going to be solid, because Sony wouldn't be heavily advertising it like this if it wasn't. They weren't for sure that it was coming out in February. Which is nice, because we're literally in December, so, you know, they only got two months now. So, yeah, Horizon Forbidden West looks good. Also, Forspoken, I keep telling you guys, don't sleep on this one. Although, there is going to be a video coming out about talking about this, and Square, we have a problem! Also, I guess Final Fantasy VII Remake, in a grade episode, got announced coming to PC. <laughs> Look, not not Xbox, you know, PC at Epic Game Store more specifically. Uh god damn, there were a couple other things that caught my attention. Plague Tales, Requiem looks good. Like as a guy who's just now getting to playing the first Plague Tale, I'm telling you, there's something special with this game. And the second one definitely looks like it's taken elements that worked with the first game, but going further, and yeah, again, that's what a good sequel does. It doesn't just coaster by on you know certain elements and they just call good you know this actually does look like it's trying to do more so yeah black tails requiem looks good alan wake 2 also <laughs> uh this is a franchise i've never played or at least i've never played the first game because you know not much of a franchise there's only one game but i am very happy for people who want alan wake 2 because it definitely looks interesting i'm not a big horror fan but I might actually give this one a shake. Uh, let's see here real quick. There was also an announcement of Wonder Woman. You know, finally, after so many years, getting her own damn game. About damn time, right? Wonder Woman finally gets her own game. We're still waiting for that Superman, but, you know, Wonder Woman does well. Maybe, just maybe, we'll see a Superman game. As far as, like, other stuff goes, they show the Sonic 2 trailer, which actually looks pretty good for the most part. And, yeah, that's kind of everything else. I don't like, you know, people always talk about Elden Ring and stuff like that. But I have no interest in Elden Ring, if I'm being honest with you guys. You know, this was also just kind of a, a weak show, if I'm being honest. Like, I'm not saying it was bad, but it was, it, it just was so different. Well, I, you know, I expected. First off, it was too long. It a half hour too long. Like, it just kept going so many games looked so similar i was just like just checked out i was like i was talking to friends on a party chat just because like I, I i literally had no interest in what was going on 
literally the only game that caught my attention during this whole like spiel was like, oh, here's a game that has rock people and it's a hero type arena shooter have no interest whatsoever. It's like I feel like that was the problem. I feel like also the awards, weirdly enough, are just taking a backseat to trailers, trailers, more trailers. Hey, did you need more trailers? Oh, yeah, they show off the Halo TV series. Wouldn't know because I wasn't paying attention because they literally threw it in the middle of nowhere. And I was like, oh, they showed the Halo series trailer? I didn't see it because I really wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it's like, oh, poor Halo. This franchise just seems like it's getting shit on lately. But, yeah, as far as, you know, the awards, you know, I was very happy. Tenna won Best Independent Game. I've been saying for the longest time, that is a game that definitely will redefine independent games because now it borders on that territory where it's different. It's more like a triple A game. We're gonna leave at least like a triple A game in the past. And I want to see more games go down that route. Cause the independent games can be so much more than just, hey look, retro style. Woo boop 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 boop. Just uh. I just so sick of these, you know, 8 bit, 16 bit games. Can we finally get into the fucking HD graphics, finally, independent games? Please? Please? But yeah, for the most part, like I said, it was a uh -uh show. Nothing too crazy. Nothing I was upset about, really. I like the most I got upset about was the Golem game, just because it looks so bad now. I was like, fuck this game. But what do you guys think of the Game Awards? Do you think they were terrible? Do you think they were the worst thing ever? Or do you think they were like, eh? What's, what are your thoughts? Leave a comment in the comment section below. And like, subscribe, all that YouTube algorithm BS. Until next time, guys. Have a good day. PlayStation Gamer sign out. Just an ish show. Jeff, you could do so much better.